सो हे गाइज व्हाट्सअप एंड पेस्ट रेडी हियर एंड वेलकम बैक टू अनदर एक्साइटेड विजुअल इफेक्ट ट्यूटोरियल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट एन अमेजिंग सी जी आई यूजिंग ब्लेंडर एंड आफ्टर इफेक्ट सो इफ यू हैव नॉट ड्राइव योर कार येट आई विल सो यू हाउ वी कैन ईजिली ड्राइव विद द हेल्प ऑफ सी जी आई सो विदाउट एनी मोर डिले लेस गेट स्टार्ट दिस वीडियो बट बिफोर दैट प्लीज हिट द लाइक बटन सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल सो दैट वी कैन You know, before moving next, I would like to highlight one of our amazing course called Modern Visual Effect, which will help you to understand the CGI, and it will help you to add visual effect into your realistic, real world footage. So I will put the link of my course in my video description. You can go there and check it, and you can create all the amazing effect. And I am also planning to add more chapters in the future. Okay, so let's get started this tutorial. Let's go. Let's watch it. So here we are inside After Effects. I will simply select my footage drop on this icon and it will create a comp or I can right click go to the track and stabilize and choose track camera. Go to effect and control advanced and enable detail analyze. Wait to process it. So you can see we have enough points available on the ground and this is what I want to do. Here I will try to drive a CG car. So I will simply move my cursor over here and set ground plane and origin and also I will select and solid and camera so it will create a solid over here. I will also move my cursor over here and create solid and if I want I can also create something else over here but that's enough for me. And if you want to check you can select this and apply a grid effect. and maybe you can press s and scale it a bit press w to rotate it and if you'll play you'll see if it's properly sticking on the surface or not it's almost good to me and we can you know move further and we will use a add on call a to blend to transfer this whole data inside blender if you want to track this footage inside blender i have a dedicated video available on my channel which will explain all the workflow so i'll simply open blender and before doing anything i know the resolution frame rate so i will quickly change it so i will go to the output properties and here i'll make it 1080 by 9020 and change the frame rate to 30 and if you want to know what's your frame rate of the footage so go to the composition setting and you will see all the details over here and here i'll make it 243 pretty much this is the frame i have the next step is to simply go to the after effect select your camera press u and select this both position and orientation copy it and go to the blender and click on this button called create camera and it will create a camera over here and also the keyframes so if you'll go to the camera icon and if i click play you will see it has a movement going on and just like the camera i will reveal the transformation control c to copy all these four values and go to the blender and click on this create plane and it will create a plane perfect you can see now the next step is to also transfer the second one so i'll select this one it's not necessary but i'm going to add it just in case if i need it so create plane that's it now i want to use the same footage over in blender so that i can see if it's properly sticking or not so i will go to the camera camera properties over here and also go to the background and choose add image movie clip and open and i will load the same footage over here and here you can see it's starting from zero so i will select the camera transform and move this keyframe one frame forward so it will start from one now we are able to see your footage so i'll simply select the camera camera properties and here also enable the opacity full and let's play and check so you can see it's floating in the air which i don't want and this is happening because of the wrong focal length so if you select the camera and you will see the focal length it's by default 50 which i have to change so first i'll go to the 3d tracker camera and here i'll copy the focal length by pressing control c go to blender and paste that and also divide it by 1.77778 and boom now we have a perfect camera tracking tracking going on over here you can see and guys uh and guys if you are a beginner i will highly suggest you go and check out some of our amazing tutorial which i already created on our channel and all those videos are step by step so it will help you a lot if you are struggling and if you are not able to you know solve your camera not able to fix the orientation not able to fix the glitches please go and check out i will put all the tutorials link also in my video description and also on this maybe this or this i button now if you think orientation is a little bit off we can fix it and also if i'll create a cube you can see the scale is pretty much big so i can also fix the scale so for doing that i'll create a new empty i'll rename this 
so now i will select the camera transform and with holding shift select the plane transform and in the end go and select this control and press control p and choose object keep transform select this press s and scale it down create a cube to see so this looks decent i can press rz and maybe i can just rotate a bit let's add a cg car which i downloaded from sketch web i will also put the link of this footage 3d model available in, in my video description so you can go and check it download it and use it and tag me so i can see that what is the file import gltf and i will use and press m to move this into a new collection called car select hierarchy s and make it scale scale until it looks decent to you so right now this looks okay for me so this is little bit small so i'll press s so the next step is to create a 3d scene so first go over here this is in a collection so i will click here and it will disable this so first i want to create a 3d floor so for that i will select this plane i will press tab to go inside the edit mode press 2 and select this edge press e x and move it all the way till here select this one e x and move it till here select this three line press e y and just move it all the way till here kind of this and uh, so basically i was trying to create a rough floor where i can drive my car e y and just move it like this so let's play and see also i can enable x-ray view so i can see if it's working good so yeah this is pretty much fine and i hope you got the idea the way i set up this scene okay control is to save this we have our car right let's make it enable disable transparency select this ground press h to hide it and also select this one press h to hide it okay so now i want to separate this from this null then i will combine everything together like this whole base in one object and or all four wheels in a separate object so that i can rig it in a easy steps okay so press maybe three select everything or i can simply select right click select high rechi press alt p and choose clear and keep transformation so if i will reveal this you can see we have a lot of nulls going on over here so i will select all the nulls scroll down press shift and select all this null delete this so now we have only the objects now i will enable x-ray vision or x-ray view and i will select all these okay so i will simply drag select g to move and you can see we still have few object left so i will press shift and and i will try to select everything g and uh, yeah not this one okay so g is you can see perfect so now we separated this base so i'll press shift and highlight any of one object and press ctrl j so it will join everything with that and same i will do with this uh you know wheels so i will select the base press h to hide and also rename this to the base and now select all the wheels control highlight and control j to join same i will do with others you can check this you can see you can select and move and check if now i want to move this origin into the you know almost in the center so i will select this press 3 right click set origin to the mass volume and here you can see same i will do with set origin mass volume perfect now i if i want i can just rename these things so now i just rename this so enable the base and this is front right so i will press fr this is front left f l perfect so we have four wheels and one base this is perfect now i will use an add-on which is rbc so here you can see it's a physics based vehicle rigging add-on so if you try the free version you can rig only one object which will be car limited setup and limited control and all just i tried to see if it's really good and yeah it's really good so let me show you how you can do it so press 7 and uh, now let's press n and i already installed this add-on so, yeah, so i will select everything press 3 and just move it almost in the almost over here so now uh, i will select again everything press ctrl a and apply all transformation set origin to the center of mask and perfect we are ready to move now i will open rbc add-on over here select this add car okay add rig basically select this body and make it vehicle body select this wheels one by ones and assign a role like this is front right this is front left this is below left and this is back right or below uh, right something like that okay let's click on this generate rig and it will add generate a rig and you will also you will also see a controller over here 
and if you'll go to the camera view and this is also created uh you know ground by default so i will go to the rbc add-on collection over here and you will see a option called rbc ground so i will simply disable or hide them okay i will enable our ground plane which we created earlier like this one okay and this works based on the physics so for interacting with this ground i have to enable physics also over here so i'll select the ground press ctrl a and choose scale make sure scale is applied go to the physics properties and choose rigid body and make it passive go to the sensitive sensitivity and enable collision margin and make the margin maybe pretty much two and let's play and see if it's happening something like that you can see something happened but our car is not driving so i will go to the control over here and i have few options just like I have an option for the drive so just increase the number and you will suddenly see it's moving oh my god this is really good right so let's make it in a way which will look good in our scene so i will select this press rz and just rotate it like this press gy and move it all the way till here and uh, let's play and you can see it's moving forward and there are few more controls just like steering so let's me make it one and let's see what will happen you can see and the good thing which i like a lot is like i can also key these numbers let me let me make it minus and see you can see and if you'll notice over here it's behaving like it's a flat plane to fix this i will select the ground and make the shape to mess and now let me play and you will see a bump you can see perfect so the next step is to uh, here is also option called motor torque so if i'll make it 12 it will increase the motor in more high speed and it will behave like this let me make it even more like kind of a two let me down the motor like five or something and if i want i can also key this and it will behave accordingly so uh, this 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 animation is pretty good i will come back almost over 60 frame and i will add a keyframe in the steering and go the 70 second and make it like 0.3 so suddenly it will start rotating the you know let's play and you can see i'll i am i am playing almost in the real time and this looks good i can also drag this number like this uh, let me show you how you can bake it so here is the option called rec record so click here and let's play and it will record and cast the whole animation and you will also see uh you know option over here delete catch so now it's recorded in our system and this looks good now let's uh, add some environment and talk about the rendering part okay and it's up to you can play a lot i can go even more further and i can apply some uh, you know different different keyframes in the steering so it will behave like a drifting so let's go to the environment tab let's go here to the rendering mode and go to the render properties and choose cycles and make it gpu and here you will notice something weird in the wheels and also on the body i will talk and i will fix it in a moment but first let me go to the environment tab and add the environment texture which will be our 360 map and quickly i will you know rotate this so in same angle so we will get also the reflection more uh, you know good way i will select the base first and i will change this to the object and i will create a new material called ground and I will drag and drop our real footage over here and plug the camera into the base color and select this press ctrl T and make this into the window and on the this video clip change repeat to clip or maybe uh, extend will be better option also enable cycles and auto refresh and increase the frame number to 1000 and uh, increase the roughness a bit also add a RGV curse effect and just try to bright our footage just a bit to match with our actual footage increase the roughness now let's select our ground plane go to the object data properties and go to the visibility and enable shadow catcher boom also go here and change this to the render region so i can only see through my camera and now if i will you know zoom i will go to the rbc add-on and go down just you have to disable all this visibility so disable it also for other wheels and uh, yeah pretty much we are done let's go to the camera view i think uh, is there any gap or something maybe just because of the let's go to the rbc add-on and on the ground select the ground plane so it's 
इट्स फील लाइक इट्स लिटिल बिट यू नो इट्स फील लाइक इट्स लेट मी गो ओवर ही एंड लेट मी इनेबल द टाइम लाइन इट्स फील लाइक आई कैन सी इट्स फील लाइक इट्स फ्लोटिंग सो लेट मी फिक्स इट क्विकली सो आई जस्ट सेलेक्ट सेलेक्टेड द आर बी सी ग्राउंड एंड मेक इट जस्ट अ बिट डाउन सो दैट आई कैन सेलेक्ट माई ओरिजिनल ग्राउंड प्लेन and go to the physics properties and on over here i'll down the margin to 0.001 press n and now i have to delete the cache and record and play again so you can see how easy this whole task is to add and do the all animation with this rbc so now you can see it's a lot better than before and yeah this can work for me and the next thing if you want to change the color you can just simply select this and uh, this is the carpet so i'll go to the shader editor and on over here i can simply add hue and saturation value plug in between these nodes for the base color and here i can just down the saturation and also down the value to make it almost black if i want i can just also add a uh, here color ramp basically maybe that will work or this value is also working so i can play accordingly basically i want to change the uh you know uh, glass color so i will just go here and remove this alpha slider and yeah this is all why i want so yeah this is pretty much it go to the timeline if i will enable the ev ambient occlusion 2 factor 2 and if i will play you can see completely the whole animation how it's behaving and if you feel it's if you if you will believe like it's slow you can simply you know change the settings and that will be you know enough so yeah this is the tutorial and i hope now you can drive your cg car let me show you the rendering part so i will go to the rendering properties and in the render tab i'll make it 256 and if you want to change the light path uh you know bounces you can do it but i probably leave these numbers and the next is go to the output properties over here and here you can decide a location where you want to export and once you are happy you just go to the render render image and then after that you can just combine this in after effect and that that's pretty much it for the tutorial all right so thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much for loving me i am in this ready and i will see you next time with an amazing tutorial until then keep working keep smiling bye bye and take care